we always want to define the waist. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some wardrobe hacks for my shoulders. I don't know what I'm doing this. My little petite treasures out there, this one goes out to you. So I personally, I'm 5'1". Why you always lying? I say that so confidently. I'm actually five foot and like a dash. And someone told me, oh yeah, you're like five with like one. One, oh, I'm five one. No, I'm like five foot with like a dash. I don't know, centimeter, I guess. No idea. I'm short. <laughs> so I wanted to share some of my little tips and tricks of how I like to proportion out my body. Honestly, it's just all about proportions and it's the way the eye reads things. So they are little tricks that you can use. Maybe some of them you've already been doing and then you realize like, oh, I didn't even know that I was like already doing this. But you know that you look better when you do certain things to your clothes. So I just wanted to kind of lay everything out here, but this is going to be focused around my petite shorties. Again, I don't know why I'm doing this. So I definitely didn't want this video to be like, wear pointy shoes, wear a thin strap. You can't wear a thick strap. You can't wear a, like, no. I mean, yeah, sure, if you do the nude pointy pump, you are gonna look super long. It's a given, for sure. Your legs are gonna look like you have legs for days. But like, how boring, I don't wanna just be in a nude pump my whole life, you know? Like, I wanna wear the ugly, like, chunky platform sandals. I wanna wear, like, the Doc Martin chunky boots and you can still do it, girl. You can still do it. It's just all about how you pull off the rest of the outfit. So, your girl is gonna break those down for you. And let's just go ahead and get into it because I know some people are just skipping to the tips. <laughs> I don't blame you. So listen up. There's gonna be one person that changes your wardrobe life. You need to have one best friend, wardrobe best friend, besides me. It is gonna be your tailor, you guys. Your tailor, seamstress, Make them your number one in your wardrobe life because it is going to make a world of difference. Everybody should have like their go-to tailor, but petite girls in particular, you guys know how important it is just because of the length. Because everything on us is gonna be a little bit long. Sorry, I was like choking. That's when my eyes are tearing. <coughs> I feel like a lot of people think it's really expensive to get your stuff altered. Not at all. I feel like the majority of what we're gonna be needing is a hem, and it is the easiest thing to do. If your tailor can't do a hem, drop them. It's really easy, so that means it's really inexpensive. If they're trying to do $50 hems, they're out of their mind. Mine usually costs about like seven to $10 for like a trouser, and then just depending on the material of the dress is how they like, you know, what they need to do and blah, blah, blah. If you're looking for like local tailors, either start looking on Google businesses. I really love Google businesses. The only thing is like, I think a lot of people don't use Google business, so there's not as many reviews as Yelp, but I do trust Google business more. I don't know, that's just me. But you know, kind of go back and forth between all of the reviews. And then also a way to do it is test out that seamstress. I made the rookie mistake of finding somebody and they were doing like $3 hems. I'm like, yes, I brought all of my and she f***ed it up. So definitely don't bring everything that you want to do to this one person that you just met. Like don't give it all the goods right away. You know what I mean? Bring in a pair of jeans or a pair of pants, just some item that you don't care about too much just in case they mess it up. Maybe something that's not super expensive. I'm so glad I didn't bring this woman like my reduns and stuff like that because we know how expensive jeans can run. So maybe go to a thrift shop or something like that and see how they do that article of clothing. And if they pass, then you can bring in all your other goods. So that's just a little like side tip, but I think it's super helpful because it hurts. Another little tip that I wanted to share before we get into like showing you some of the outfits is go to the petite section on your favorite websites. Like ASOS has an amazing petite section. Topshop, I don't know what's going on with Topshop in America, but if you're in London, like petite, they have a great petite section. And when you're looking at the petite section, a t-shirt doesn't really matter. Like, a sweater doesn't really matter. There's ways around that. Mm, trousers, it's a really easy hem and not too expensive hem. The ones that you really, really wanna look at when you're looking in these petite sections is denim jackets, because jackets are really expensive depending on the construction of the jacket to get altered. So, you know, if a pocket is 
way at the bottom and you need to trim that it's gonna alter the look you're gonna have to be moving buttons up it's doable but a lot more work so might as well just get it in the petite section another thing is like jumpsuits if you just try to hem the legs of a jumpsuit because you know they're too long it's not gonna work because the body is also gonna be too long if that makes sense it's gonna be a situation where the waist is sitting at your like damn thighs or something so you gotta break that part up so there's just a lot more paneling that you're gonna have to like stitch you're gonna have to crop the top and then stitch see you're already getting annoyed like i'm talking too much so that's as many steps as you're gonna have to take so jumpsuits are good because everything is gonna be proportioned for a petite woman so jacket jumpsuits jeans are like most important pants like I said, usually it's going to be like a hem situation, but it just kind of depends on the design of the pants. And dresses are also something else to consider, especially when they start getting a little bit more fancy. I'm not just talking like a little jersey dress, a little like reformation dress. I'm talking about when it has starts through the boobs, like where the boob is supposed to be, and it's like fitting us down here. Like you got to bring that up. It's just a lot more construction and a lot more work. So. That's something that you can already find in the petite section. So now I'm gonna jump into some clothing and kind of explain what to do and why I'm doing it. My little thought process. I'm just gonna like bring you guys and go to my mirror. Okay, so a lot of you guys wanted to know how to dress in a midi skirt. So as you guys can see, this is not exactly midi. Midi is around here, but since I am petite, it fits me right to the ankle which I actually think is a really flattering fit for us. What I would suggest so you don't lose your waist is to tuck in your t-shirt or wear with a crop top so a little bit of skin shows just so you always define your waist. And then as far as shoes go, you wanna pick something a little bit more dainty, maybe a flat. Something like this would be really ideal because it doesn't have any straps at the ankle and you'd look a little bit more elongated than before. If you want to do this with a heel, something like this as well would be really ideal for us. It has a heel, it's nude, and it doesn't have a strap across the ankle. Since we already have a line here, it would be a little too redundant to add another strap here that's gonna cause to cut off the leg. So that's another way to wear these skirts. If you do wanna wear it with a chunkier heel or maybe a sneaker, so you can see you're gonna wanna like show the ankle a little bit. So you're gonna want to get this hemmed around here, right in between, like right mid shin and I think that'll be a better cut for you. Or for us, I should say. <sighs> I'm hot. If you're gonna be wearing it with sneakers more, just tailor it to about there. And that's gonna allow you to continue to look very long. Say you wanna do like a chunkier shoe like this. Don't worry about it being black. I know it kind of throws it off. You can do it like that as well. And obviously the platforms are also gonna give you a lot of length, so. This is a really great way to wear one of these types of skirts. Even if you were to wear it long, it's not too bad, but I think bringing it up just a little bit is definitely gonna help elongate you. I'm gonna show you as well with like a chunkier sneaker, but I think we have to take off this top. Okay, so here's another outfit where, to me, I feel like it does nothing for me. It's a little bit dowdy, a little bit stumpy, so, what I like about this top is that it gives us some volume here to counterbalance the proportion of the chunky shoes. I don't know about you, but I really love a chunky shoe. Again, I'm gonna say we're gonna have to alter this a little bit, and this is like the sweet spot. So you're always gonna want just a little bit of skin between the bottom of your hem and your shoe. But first, we also need to take care of the top. I think tucking it in could work, but even better than that is to, again, just show a little bit more skin. This top has almost everything going for the perfect complement to a skirt like this because of the puffy sleeves or like the volume here. It's gonna have a deeper V, so it's gonna let us elongate here. The only thing that's missing is I wish it was a crop top. And I think this is gonna really help balance out this outfit. 
doing the hem here, like I was saying, and automatically you already look so much better. It's such a difference, right? So let's see that side by side really quick just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And again, if you're not into crop tops, then feel free to just tuck it in. What we're really aiming for is just defining the waist so that we're not lost or swimming in our clothes which tends to happen to petite girls. Okay, so if you guys follow me over on Instagram, you've probably already seen this outfit, how I hacked my way. So this is actually a jacket that I had been dying to wear. It's an extra large men's vintage Fila jacket that I picked up when I was in Spain. And I think it's super sick, but obviously I'm swimming in this clothes. I actually got this skirt as well from Rent the Runway, and I thought it'd be a cool way to finally wear this jacket. But when I put it all together, I just felt like it was super unflattering. What we can do, first off, I'm just gonna start with this base. So when you do a maxi and a chunky shoe, it just kind of reads a little weird. So what we're gonna do first is just crop the top. I think it gives also like a little added styling detail. Then what's really cool about this skirt, since I can't alter it, I mentioned it's from Rent the Runway. So once you bring it up a little bit and give yourself a little ankle, you can definitely pull off a chunkier shoe with a maxi. But what's really cool about this skirt is that it actually has a tearaway. Elongate our legs with slits and already it's gonna give us so much more length. So if you have any maxi skirts at home and you just feel like, again, you're swimming in it, a good way is just to take it to your seamstress or your tailor and they can put a slit through it and it'll help elongate you. And now we can put on the jacket. And like I've said before, I actually, now that I have like these elements a little bit cropped, I don't mind wearing it like this oversized. I think it's fine and it makes such a difference from before. So a no-brainer for petite girls. I'm sure you guys have heard this before, but vertical stripes is definitely true. This is a really great example of one because this dress, it not only does it sit at the natural waistline, it's still defining my waist here, but it also has a very low the neck, so it's gonna help elongate through the neck. That is definitely a pattern for petite girls to consider. Okay, so another one of my favorite short girl hacks is obviously we're gonna run into that problem of the length of the pant always being a bit long on us, so these are definitely no different. So this is what the length actually is. This is me without any shoes, and you can see that it's gonna be dragging, but an instant way to look taller or if you don't have time to get the pants altered is just to pair it with a really tall platform. And it can literally be any shoe. Like, I probably wouldn't wear these together, but since they're gonna be hidden under the pant anyway, I just pick a shoe that's extremely comfortable and extremely high so that I don't have to like really get it altered and it looks like I have legs for days. This is also a really amazing example for a pant because it is a high waist, and high waist just always looks good on petite girls. You can do this with jumpsuits, you can do this with all of your wide leg trousers, and people will never know what's going on under that pant leg. So another one of my favorite hacks and one of my personal favorite trends is definitely wearing something monochromatically, so head to toe red, head to toe, whatever your favorite color is. It's gonna, again, give the illusion. I don't know if you guys have caught on, but it's all about the lines and where things cut you off at because this is all red, the same tone of red. Even though it does look like it stops here, the eye is gonna read it more as like a whole. So I'm gonna show you guys with like a black blazer and you're gonna see instantly how it shortens me. So this is the example with the black jacket. It's going to cut us off here. This is actually a really nice jacket too though for petites because it does give you that really elongated neck. This would look really stunning with like a high-waisted black pant and that's gonna like super elongate us. So this is the black example I was telling you about. Some high-waisted pants, petite girl's best friend, and also their wide leg, so I'm able to put a little bit of a heel with it and it just instantly makes me look taller. Of course, black is a color that is super flattering as well, but as you saw in other examples, you don't always have to go just for black, but ooh, but this is a really chic and one of like my favorite looks, just a nice little tuxedo type 
outfit. And I think this is what really helps to continue that elongation. Just always putting a little bit of skin where you can. And it's still super chic. Okay, so this is actually one of my favorite jumpsuits. And when I first got it, I was really <laughs> upset about it just because I thought I would never be able to pull it off. So like I said in the intro about the jumpsuits, as you can see, this is where the jumpsuit sits. So if I were to get it altered, it wouldn't just need to be the hem. I feel like it would need to be brought up because on somebody that's taller, it's gonna sit at a naturally higher waistline. But what's really nice about this jumpsuit is that it does come with a belt. If you don't like the belt that the jumpsuit comes with, you can always just like throw on your own belt. And you wanna just kinda like billow this out a little bit so that it does showcase this line here. And then again, with the neckline, we're gonna wanna bring this down a little bit to give us some more skin here. And then for the bottoms as well, we can just roll up. I think about there looks good. I, like I said, that little sweet spot of your ankle, just depending on what shoes you wear, is always really nice. And I really like to wear this with booties, but it is like 100 degrees in my room right now, so I'm just gonna show you guys with But this is a cute way to wear it as well. And automatically, it makes such a world of difference than the baggy jumpsuit that it was before. And then anytime there is a collar, I like to also throw my hair up. So that's why I threw my hair up in a ponytail. I really like a high pony to just continue to elongate your entire body. Okay, so this is just like a staple little summer dress. This is actually like, the shape that I hate the most because it's like a sack plus it hits at the most for me the most unflattering part so with these silhouettes what I like to do is just bring it up and make it into like a mini dress so you can belt it what I'm gonna use is actually this is to my robe and I'm just gonna hide it because I don't have a belt to that I like to go with this I only have like black belts right now so spin that around and then, just like we did the jumpsuit, we're gonna like billow this out and make it into a little mini dress. That's a way more flattering fit. It almost looks like a little two-piece now. Just gives you a little bit more length on your legs. Comment down below if you've been doing some of these hacks yourself without even realizing that they're little tricks and tips. And if you have any of your own, be sure to comment below because I'd love to hear. So the next tip for this video is high-waisted jeans is always a good idea. Like I have been saying, high-waisted, it just looks so much better because like it adds a few inches above your natural hip. So it's gonna make the legs look longer and it just is such a nice flattering fit. So I love these and then you can always just tuck in the top. This is that same top from the beginning of this video and I just like to tuck it in because we always want to define the waist. Like I said, everything is all about proportion so don't ever be afraid to wear certain items or say short girls can't wear this. It's just all about how you balance everything. Okay, so I believe those are most of my petite hacks. Maybe there will be a part two or something like that if I think of anything else but I definitely wanted to leave you with as much information and if you guys follow me over on Instagram then you'll definitely be seeing more of this. As I get ready, don't forget to subscribe here on YouTube if you haven't already and turn on those post bell, how do people say it? And turn on the post bell notifications so you don't miss anything. Yes, okay, you can do whatever you want guys, but I will see you hopefully in another video, bye.